It's Boxing Day. You're watching Breakfast Television. Thanks for joining us. If you're eco designer Linda Bodo, just because Christmas Day has passed, the Christmas tree can still serve many it's purposes. A still, very valuable commodity. I love this. So, how does it go in your household? Okay, so here's what I do. First of all, my Christmas tree is kind of pathetic. I cut it myself from my, from my backyard. That's the way it's supposed to go. I, I know it. I know it. And he's kind of cute, but I have to do plastic surgery on him and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So I can't bear to recycle him or toss him out after Christmas. So okay. what I do is I plunk him in my yard and I festoon him with bird feed. Oh, you just leave it outside? I do. I leave it outside and I garnish all the branches with so all kinds of So this is what you've done here. Like, these are just like little tiny mini bagels slathered in peanut butter, rolled in seed, hung on the tree, and they will thank you forever and I ever love that. and ever. Now we came up on a shot of this, the absolutely gorgeous It's kind of cool, huh? Really cool. So basically what I did is I chopped off all the limbs from the tree and I, this is the stem, this is the stalk, what was left over. Now there's this really cool bit that yeah. looks kind of like this. Right? Yeah. It's a spade bit. It's not very expensive. I just bought one actually. They're like seven bucks. Really? Yeah. Well, as opposed to one of these, which is a Forstner bit, which is like 30 bucks. Okay. It does the same thing. But the cool thing is what this bit will do is open up a hole for you in those logs that you can drop a votive in. Yeah. Is this the one you use for that? So one, we yes. know that one and a quarter inch One and a quarter one, or one and a half, it, depending okay. if you've got the sleeve on it or not. But the neat thing about that is you can just pile it in your fireplace and you don't have to light it all the time. The logs are right it there looks ready so to great. rock and I mean, roll. You could yeah. also do that on a table runner on a big you dining could. room table. Yes. It would look just as elegant. Very rustic. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I love this. Very neat. simple. Yeah. Door hanger. And that's it all it is. It smells amazing. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's still pretty fresh. But you see, it doesn't scream Christmas anymore. It this screams is winter. Seasonal, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your door can still have cool stuff on it and stay, you know, in the season. Can I ask uh, what saw you're using with this? You're not using a hand saw, are you? I just use, sometimes I use a hand saw yeah. for, for these small cuts. Absolutely, I do, because it's okay, 10 times like easier than Okay, or like a jigsaw or something? Jigsaw would be my next choice, okay, to be honest perfect. with you. Yeah, absolutely. This caught my attention as soon as I saw it. So this is another bird feeder, and what I did with this is I took the branches, after I took the greenery off, yeah. and I just sliced them. Just like this. I love it. Into You've got a little whole tiny bunch of slices. Sizes here. Yeah. No. And you take a wooden salad bowl. Yeah. Similar to this. And you just glue all those pieces on here with a good, strong outdoor glue. And you're so going to want to make sure that you vary the sizes yeah, and everything yeah, yeah, like yeah. that Change so you get that up. kind of stone wall look. For sure, for sure. And it's this little acorn business that ends up happening. Yeah, the shape right? is so great. So yeah, you just that, ran that through a, a bird feeder and yeah. there you have it. And that's just from a pop bottle, like a two liter pop bottle. That's oh, you what didn't I used. Is my, pre no, 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 no. So what you do is... That's kind of a dumb question, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I should, I should know like by now. I should know by now. So how did you make your okay, bird feeder Okay, two liter pop bottle, yeah. right? It's a perfect acorn bottom. Give it a little shot of cooking spray. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is mix up some gelatin as per package instructions. Sure, never done it before. And mix it up with some bird seed. Where are you getting your bird seed, by the way? You know, There's that you, great Wild Birds Unlimited place yes, on 107th Ave. Yes, Have you yes. you been there? Okay. And, and grocery stores, dollar stores. Oh, do they carry it too? All of them. Yeah, Love it. They sure okay. do. And then you're going to pack it in here, right? You're going to yeah. pack it in here with a little wire inside. Perfect. Overnight, maybe. By the time it settles, Pull it out, you got boom, your shape. You're done. Put it through the top, and it is beauty. Is this platter what I'm probably smelling? Like, that is Smell. just. Like, yeah, super awesome. That's it. I don't, it smells like bath product mixed with new Starbucks drink. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> in a good way. What have you, what have you done to put this together? So, very, very simple. Take a brown paper bag. Has to be paper, don't use plastic because it needs to breathe. And what you're going to do is throw in a whole bunch of really cool stuff like cinnamon sticks and then, of course, the boughs from your sure. tree, you know, yeah. like little odds and bits and bits and pieces. And, go through you know, the ones that are still feeling good, a little yeah. bit soft. You know, and just, just the tips, just little tiny pieces. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take some essential oils. Oh, that's now, how you made it. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's all kinds of flavors. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a few drops on a cotton ball. You know, just dribble, 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 sure. dribble, dribble, dribble. Don't be shy, right? Toss. How long do you leave it in there like that? I would leave it in here for precisely 5.2 days. 5.2 days? Precisely. Okay, halfway Look. through the sixth day, 
You better get it out of there. Finally, we, I'm not letting you go. We only have less than a minute left, but okay, how did oh, you make this? This isn't is that so cute? cool. It's lovely, isn't it? It's got suet in it, also for the birdies. Well, oh, this is a bird feeder. It's a bird feeder. So basically, you've got your little tiny logs that you've chopped off your tree. Yeah. You've cored a hole. Okay. Now, you can buy suet in plugs like this. You ever seen this? I have not. No. no. So these are little suet plugs you can buy, or okay. you could do the peanut butter and seed and all that kind this of stuff. This is the bird version of catnip for cats, Exactly. Right? Yeah. No, they just love it. And then you know me, I got to have my little branches as perches so yeah, that the sure. little guys can sit and on. eat. So you just screwed in the, the hooks here. Yes, with my you handy dandy together. hammer. This is so cool. Did Linda. a pound and yeah, away you go. Amazing. Fun, Look at huh? that. A way to have your Christmas tree continue the giving tradition for weeks afterward. Thanks for all these great ideas. My pleasure. Happy Boxing Day. Do you have and any shopping you. plans today? No, I'm busy putting my tree out like and, it. you know, festooning it. Yeah, yeah. that's the true spirit. Yeah. Linda Bodo, Eco Designer. You can follow her on Twitter at Absolute Bodo. BT's back with entertainment news right after this. It's for the birds. Santa loves us all the same. Go and spread the word. Christmas.